Hey, it's Veronica, and today I'm gonna talk about Chinese superstitions and myths about pregnancy. Now, if you missed out on my previous video, which was the truth about pregnancy, I will make sure that there's a link somewhere that you can click on, so go watch that first. So the first rule about pregnancy is that you don't talk about it until you are three months and beyond because the Chinese believe that if you talk about it before that, you will jinx your pregnancy and your baby will miscarry. But the scientific explanation is that miscarriages happen most often in the third month because that is when your baby is developed enough for your body to detect whether or not there is anything wrong with it. Secondly, people will baby you and tell you that you cannot do this, cannot do that, including exercise. I'm not even going to... I mean like why try when so basically, if you're Chinese, you are not allowed to say anything inauspicious. It, it, it really is a very Chinese thing though, like um, during Chinese New Year, birthdays and stuff, weddings, you're not supposed to say anything inauspicious because you'll jinx people. But honestly, jinxes are not real unless you choose to believe in them. And okay, this next one is pretty ridiculous. You're not allowed to renovate your house while you're pregnant because it will cause deformities. In your baby and then there's this one looking at cute baby photos if you look at cute baby photos every single day your baby will turn out as cute as the photos that you look at because genetics don't exist now when all of that is said and done comes the hard part the confinement we Chinese have this confinement month where the new mom is not allowed to leave the house. She's also not allowed to wash her hair, um, she has to eat a special diet, and she can't touch water or drink water for that matter, um, unless it is date water. She will be taken care of by like her mother-in-law, her mother, or a confinement lady. So you basically hire this live-in nanny to take care of your baby for an entire month and um, do all the house chores and stuff like that. It sounds great, but wait till I get into the details. God forbid you say you do not believe in it because then all of your elders and well-meaning friends will give you this example. Look at all those white people who don't do confinement. You know why they're so old? Because they don't do confinement. Wow. First of all, it's something called genetics. Have a look at Japan. I don't think they do confinement and I think they look a lot younger than we do. So you get forced fed an array of food that has um, wine, whiskey, or basically just liquor in it. It's so dumb because they believe that alcohol will nourish your body for some reason. The only one thing that I kind of agree with is no salt because Salt will encourage water retention, so you're not supposed to have salt to expel and just flush out all of that excess water. And the whole you're not allowed to wash your hair thing, how disgusting is that? I will not touch my pillow if I haven't washed my hair in three days. What makes you think that I will touch a newborn whose immunity has not yet developed? Do you know how bad this makes Chinese people look? It makes us look like we're savages. One thing that people seem to forget is that all these superstitions come from ancient China where there is no technology. They used to build their toilets outside of the house because there's no plumbing. So if we follow these rules, we are taking a massive step backwards from civilization, from civilized society. I think that humanity has come far enough that we should be able to question and decide for ourselves what is the best course of action before just following things blindly. And lastly, I'd like to remind everybody that it's never okay to comment on another person's appearance. It's just common courtesy. But especially if somebody is pregnant, they are already going through so many changes, they do not need your comments at all. It is also common courtesy to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Bye.